In this video, we are going to understand about how role-based access control works in hybrid DCS system. The target audience for this video is the users who have had previously worked or had training in hybrid DCS. This video was created in hybrid DCS 2018 of the software. In subsequent versions, the steps taken and views may be different. The objective is to allow authorized users to access hybrid DCS system to perform tasks based on their roles. These are the default roles created by the software during installation. Any logged in user independently of their group membership can access the user abode and help menus of a component. These menus are also accessible when no user is logged in. These are the two types of authentication process. One is local control and another is domain control authentication. Here is an example for local control authentication. As you can see in the picture, this is the system server and these are engineering client and operation client. The users are created in the system server and assigned roles with associated groups. The, when the users log in from their respective clients, it is authenticated by the system server. Now, let's see example for domain control authentication. As you can see in the picture, this is the domain controller where all the users are created with the roles and associated groups. This is the system server and these are the clients. When the user logs in from engineering client or operation client or system server, all the users are authenticated by the domain controller. Let's see the workflow of authentication process. During installation, as you can see, you can choose either local or domain. Choose local and install. For domain, provide a valid domain name and check the availability to install. Another way to change the authentication type is using system server configuration wizard. As you can see here, choose local or domain as per requirement and follow as shown. Please note that in domain controller system, the hybrid DCS default roles are not available. Ensure that these roles are created by supplied software tool or created manually. Let's see how to create users and assign roles. Go to computer management. Here are the users and groups. We can see the default roles created by the hybrid DCS system. Let's create new admin user. Fill in the form with username, description and password. You can choose the password to never expire. Now the user is created. Let us assign the role for the user. Choose the respective role from the list. Similar way, other users are created and assigned respective roles as shown. Please note that multiple roles can be assigned to a single user. Let's start the system server and log in with each user to see the privileges based on their roles. Now let's start with the admin user. The admin user 
has the full access to the menu bar of the system server and its commands. Only user with admin role can start the system server. Now let's start the client. Admin user has no access to the client functionalities. Now let's log in with the engineer user and see the privileges for this role. Engineer can perform tasks on the engineering client that are directly related to systems, no access to system server, no access to operation client, no access to Global Templates Explorer, no access to global root folder, its subfolders and the corresponding context menu commands in the content repository explorer. Let's log in with the template designer user and see the privileges for this role. Designer can perform tasks on the engineering client that are directly related to global templates. Only global templates and not a system. He has no access to operation client. No access to system server. No access to inspect the external references context menu command of a template. And no access to systems folder, its subfolders and the corresponding context menu commands in the content repository explorer. Let's log in with the operator user and see the privileges. Operator has no access to engineering client. Has no access to system server. Operator has full access to the functionalities of the operation client only. To summarize and conclude, this video would be helpful for you to understand role-based access control in EcoStructure Hybrid DCS system.